Yeah, I thought I'd make a video update on how I work on my Bixler 2 with uh, Autopilot Mega 2.5 is going. And here it is. Uh, I've actually built it so it's uh, built everything in one side. So when I do fly it then I just tape the sides together so I can easily open it and make changes and stuff and then I will glue it together when I'm finished with everything. Yeah. Here is the uh, Ordo Pilot Mega 2.5 from uh, US uh, 3D Robotics and it did break for me the 3.3 volt regulator broke but I replaced it with a new one and now it works. Yeah. Here is the power module connected it meshes the current and volt and stuff and speed controller motor it's a in runner and here I have put the GPS and here is the 433 megahertz telemetry for the or the pilot and it's I've tried it and it doesn't affect the GPS it seems I want here is the GPS, here is the telemetry, and here is the receiver. And in front here, I'm gonna have the FPV transmitter, so the FPV transmitter is uh, further away from everything than the other stuff. Yeah, and the receiver I use is a uh, FR Sky D4R2, it's a four channel receiver, but if you use it with the PPM sum out, it has 8 channels and it also have RSSC out in PVM so I will build a LC filter and put it there yeah but what I also want to do is I have my nice Taranis radio so uh, if I sometimes fly without FPV or want want like the values speak to me. I'm working on a uh, way to trans translate the Mavlink data to FR Sky telemetry and I found a, I started programming stuff and then I found a, a site that has already done that. It's G-Drones. It's uh, they make a board that is the Keyboard or something with it can control it's really cool it can control LEDs and stuff and it's open source so I I took that code and I'm working on that so I put it on a or Arduino Pro Mini so now the Mavlink data goes in there and it's translated to FR Sky telemetry yeah so now I have here I can have the GPS uh, data directly in the receiver so I can see like the distance of the plane and altitude and stuff yeah, and here even the accelerometer data you can see so if I move the plane uh, it changes <coughs> and one cool thing with having the telemetry data to the Taranis is that you can uh, record log files to the SD card and it logs everything like every stick position and GPS data and everything so it should be possible to put up like the path that the plane have been flown in Google Earth and stuff and here I have just an example for a GPS log I have downloaded you can see like RSSC values and course and the GPS speed and and all kinds of accelerometer data and even rudder like how you move the rudder stick so it's it's really cool so yeah, that's what I've been working on, so I will post more videos later.
goodbye.